Hello everyone and welcome back to the Farts and Craps show. I'm your host, Dan Joe McCraps, and sitting here with me is Mr. Farts. We are here again doing the peep show, right? The peep show, where we play a game that is pretty much unknown and um, we give our impressions of it. Unknown to us, at least. Yeah, I wouldn't say unknown. Yeah. So we um, play a game we've never heard of uh, or know anything about, and we give our impressions. And then towards the end, we will refer to the internet reviews mm -hmm. and see what other people think about this game and how it compares to what we think of the game. Mm -hmm. Cool. And uh, Jade and I will trade off a little bit. I'm going to play a little bit, and then she'll play a little bit. And we'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and start. So this is called uh, Arr, Cubes of Light. I'm not sure what those letters were supposed to be. But it was like A-V-A, -A, I think. Ava, maybe. Eva. Eva. Why does it not do? Oh. Whoa, this was on the GameCube? No, it's Object Vision Software. It just looked like the GameCube thing. Presents. <gasps> Ava, Cubes of Light demo. <laughs> Connect the nunchuck to the Wii Room. Oh, really? We don't have those. No, we do. We have one. Do we? Yeah, we have Why? two. Why? Because they came with the system. Oh. And some games require them. Not any games I typically play, but we do have two of them. Oh, I didn't even know that with that. Yeah, the nunchuck is dumb. They hate the nun nunchuck. Or as a... A lot of people refer to them as just a chuck. See? It's a little mini dildo. It's a, one of those rabbit mm -hmm. vibrators. It does look like one of those rabbit vibrators. <laughs> so earlier we were talking about how um, Nintendo controllers resemble, uh, uh, let's see, marital aids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Much of the That's time. a good way to put it. Yeah. Wow, this one even still has the instructions on it. See, look. This is like a brand new, like... I don't even know if this is a Nintendo brand one. I assume it is because it came with our... Whoa, this is brand new. Holy shit, feel that, feel that analog stick. It's tight mm -hmm. as hell. Like my pussy. <laughs> like my butthole. <clears throat> that is an exit only. Anyways. What if you had to use the Wiimote and Chuck to... Uh, What if there wasn't? Oh, this analog stick is badass. Feels so good. Mm -hmm. I wish our controllers had an analog stick this good. So yeah, this is probably the thing that came with it. But yeah, this um, the Wii I picked up has a uh, came with two like Nintendo brand like Wii mounts. I think it's the second gen ones, and uh, they also came with two nunchucks. And apparently one of them. It had a white one and a black one. Apparently, the black one's never been used before. So, it's kind of cool. It's just, I don't like having the analog stick on the left thumb on a tiny little thing like this. It just doesn't feel right. You've seen Young Frankenstein, right? Yeah, not for years, but yeah. Alright, let's play. Cube Core. I wonder why there's no, like, sound on the TV. There is sound. It's just... Oh. Do you hear that? Oh, there is. It's just quiet. What the hell? It's a little robot thing and... Babe, come on. What? I need impressions. Come on. It's the peep show. I don't need impressions of your iPhone. <laughs> The, um, the animation style is very lazy. <laughs> it's very, very lazy. My lips are numb. Mm hmm. Oh, I, I, Aya. It's Aya. Relight the stars, transmit to the cubes, and employ the energy packs after you've installed the. Wait, the what? What? I start here, I guess? Mm hmm. This is confusing. What the hell am I doing? I don't know. Working for Cube Corporation, apparently. Whoa, what the hell? 
Yes. I like her little yeah. yeah. Whoa. Oh my goodness. I am pointing the Wii Wiimote at the screen. You finicky, oh my goodness. Look at this, so you can move it around, right? Yeah. But like if you move it too far, it's like point the Wiimote at the screen. I'm like shit. That's cool though, you can actually- It hurts like... my head. Sorry, I'll stop rotating it like that. Thank you. Okay, so B does nothing. A. Really? Really? I have to, to jump? Are you serious? I don't want to play this game. <laughs> it's so bad. Like it's worse than I thought it would be, <laughs> which is, I had low expectations already, babe. <laughs> I think you're supposed to get those balls. Uh, oh. Now jump. <gasps> oh my. Good call. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Apparently I'm wearing anti- Wait, wait, what? You look like you belong at a rave. Now I have to press left but to go left. But a conservative rave. You look like you belong at a Mormon rave. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Much appreciated. Okay, I get it. Like, I can walk on the ceiling. But what's- Is there a point to any of it? <laughs> can I go down? Can I- What if I just- <laughs> Double jump! I can't get that. Can I... No? This is really dumb. It's like playing Sonic, but you're in space, and the track is really uh, unimaginative. Mm -hmm. Like, this is the coolest part of the game, where you can go, wee -oo, wee. I don't know, I think it's pretty cool that you can walk upside down. Yeah, but the controls are so bad. Like, so bad. And look at this, if you go a certain distance, right? Can I jump out into space? Yay! Oh, whoa. Oh, I thought I was gonna use my jetpack. Oh, uh, again, I have to start at the beginning. What do these other buttons do? Nothing? Really? There is no reason I have to use the Wii, the chuck for this, except to use the analog stick, but you could easily do that with the, con the other controller I was just using. I'm already disinterested. But babe, this is the best game no one's ever heard of. I don't think it is. <laughs> okay. Do you, you don't want to try this? No. Why is right right now? That is so dumb. Okay, so when I went upside down, like I was still holding right to go forward. And now, since I stopped for a second. Oh, there's a thing. It is a thing. Is it Oh like... my goodness. Look at this. Now I have to press mm -hmm. up or down to move. Because I let go of left. Oh jeez, that thing's gonna hurt me. It's like, as long as you hold on to the direction, it stays the same. But if you let go of the direction, you have to, like, watch. I'm holding left, still holding left, still holding left. Left. <laughs> Controls are so bad. So if I stop right here, I have to press up to go forward. And then I have to press down to go to go right, essentially. They're just not doing the whole perspective thing correctly. Oh, son of a bitch. I mean, it kind of makes sense because you were going up. It does, but as long as you hold the direction, you keep going in the direction. So, like, okay. you don't... It changes based on, like, the player's perspective, not the, per the character's perspective. Which is classic... I have to hold B and jam it and twist it? Like, are you serious? Look, look at that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so I have to press B, push it forward, and turn it. Which I just did. I have to press B, push it forward, and turn it. I have to press B, push it forward, and... <laughs> are, you, are you seeing this? Mm-hmm. Press B. B, push it forward and turn. What am I what am I doing? That's B. That thing on the back is B. Try going up and turning. Am I not sitting in the right? <laughs> what 
What the hell does it want from me? Oh wow, I did it. I think. Did I do it? I did it. Wow. If a game, if I, if I have to like ask the game, like, did I do it? <laughs> it's probably not the best game in the world. All right, so what do I do now? Did I just beat the level? Did I win? Am, am I getting teleported somewhere? Io Brachium time. New record. You got 10 out of 11 items. Those were items? I thought I was just collecting coins. Is this the entire game? Alright, I guess we got a few more minutes. <laughs> Let's do level 2. Oh, now I have a choice. I can do level 2 or level 3. Bring it on. Level 3. <laughs> Is that... It's a robot walrus thing? Are you seeing that, babe? Mm -hmm. It's like a robot walrus, like, see, look. <laughs> uh, I thought it was like a panda sloth thing. Yeah, but he's walking around on like flippers. I don't know. A and up, down. Oh my goodness, I, that was the first thing I figured out how to do. And I was like, please point the Wiimote at the screen. Oh my goodness, this fucking game. All right. I, th I think I think I'm done with this. I'm done with it. I think I'm uh, absolutely done with this. Let's see what the internet said though. Um, okay. Because I'm curious. Because I would give this game, I don't know. Uh, mm, out of uh, like five mm, percent, I would give it a one out of ten. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like really bad but it is a game mm -hmm. like even i know the wii is like limited with its graphics and stuff but even that panning like low res shot of space behind me is like really bland mm -hmm. all right so let's look up what this is a uh and the what is the name of this we don't even know what is the name of this terrible ass game all right um Main menu, please. How yes. do we know people are commenting? We're not streaming. Oh, I thought we no, were. No, no, no. We're recording. Oh. No, we're not streaming this. No way. No way. This is for the peep show. This is for the. This is a YouTube. Okay. This is not our Twitch thing. Hey guys, this is for you. Aya uh, cubes of light. Hell yes, darlings. Aya, uh, I thought it said it was something else. Cubes of light. Well, now that I know the title, I'm immediately deleting this thing uh how do i do that anyways i'll figure it out yes i thought i could delete it from that but i guess mm -hmm. i can't um cubes of light review let's see how it did mm-hmm um, IGN. Let's see what IGN said. Hey, IGN. What do you guys got? Ijin. Oh, it was like three and a half stars out of five. <laughs> no, that's that's not what they scored this. Um, that's what people score the IGN app for iOS. Okay. Uh, it's a gravity-based outer space puzzler. That anyone who's played Super Mario and Galaxy games should be able to immediately jump into and understand. I disagree. Okay. Based on what? It's an interesting idea and the execution is pretty good. Nope. What? The only real downfalls are the game's control scheme. That's pretty major downfall. No, the other d downfall is that this game is vague... It's barely a game. There's no story, and it's just the same shit over and over and over again. We don't know that there's no story. We didn't play it for very long. Well, if there's story, they should put that in the very beginning. But no, it was like... Okay, it was saying... We didn't play it long enough to know that there's no story. I guess. All right, they didn't even give it, like, a number. They just called it good. That's not good. 
The verdict. The verdict's not good. Um, other than weird controls, space adventures are fun. No, they're not. <laughs> they're really not, guys. I think that's a paid review. Um, there we go. Game facts. These guys bring you the facts. Gamefacts.com. Mad shout out, guys. Game facts, you guys are the shit. Uh, three critic reviews. Average is two, uh, 2.67 out of 5. Uh, no reader reviews. Zero. Zero people have reviewed this game on Game Facts. Um, let's see, IGN gave it a 7 out of 10, really? That was their score. Nintendo Life gave it a 7 out of 10. They probably just copied and pasted uh, IGN's review. Nintendo Gamer gave it a 20 out of 100. That sounds more like what I would give this. About a mm -hmm. 20%. Like, honestly, zero redeeming qualities. I, This game sucks. <laughs> like, if you have nothing to do, <clears throat> and you don't have never played a decent video game, this um. might be fun. I think you should just read a book or something instead. Yes, you should read a book. <laughs> or <laughs> or practice anything. Or draw. Sleep. Or sleep. <laughs> or uh, paint. Kick a poppy. Mm -hmm. Any of those things are better than playing this game, honestly. Um, do I your homework. Do your homework. Yes. That is I would amazing. rather do my homework oh, than play this game. You would rather do homework. <laughs> I would too, actually. Too and to I hate doing homework, guys. Like, I hate school. So, for mm -hmm. me to say, nah, I'd rather do my homework. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyways, um, yeah, avoid this game, guys, because I think this was selling for, like, $10 on the Wii store. Don't do um, it. Yeah, that's a terrible... You I... may as well just light $10 on fire. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, I paid 10 bucks for Star Fox 64, and that's a damn good game. Like, all the, there's a lot of games that are like ten bucks on the Wii Store, and some of them are a hell of a deal. Like you did not pay ten dollars for this, did you? No, this is oh, a demo. Okay, thank it was God. Free. Okay, thank <laughs> are God. Are you shitting me? I was gonna be no. really pissed at you for a minute. No, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't pay money for this. This is the Peep Show. We play demos and games that are like a dollar. Okay. That's what we always do. I, I, you just scared me for a minute. <laughs> No, the full version of AI Cubes of Light is $10. Don't so, do it. Yeah, don't buy it. If you guys don't believe me in my review and my assessment, you can download the demo on the Wii Store for free. Play it for yourself. You'll, you'll, you can get, you make your own decision on it. Um, but yeah, we're going to get going, folks. Um, and also stay tuned because we're also going to review, be reviewing very soon a game that you can see right there called jam city which... what about the sandwich game sounds jamming oh there wasn't a demo for that damn it and it also looked really dumb i think this is about roller derby girls <laughs> yeah i dig roller derby so i, I wanted to do have... roller derby for so long and i was like because my friend sammy used to do roller derby uh -huh. so she was like teaching me how to roller skate decently and like i even bought roller skates and a helmet and i like, was ready to buy all the rest Damn. of the gear and do roller derby shit mm -hmm. and then i started college and then there went all my time mm -hmm. so i haven't done roller derby yeah I I'm... but i would love to <clears throat> actually daniel would probably get pretty pissed if i started roller derby everybody votes i can get rid of this <laughs> yes but yeah I dig roller derby. I think it's a really cool concept. It, it is really, really cool. Daniel it's... might get mad at me if I start doing roller derby. Oh, but... now I would, yeah. Huh? Now I would, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to delete the internet channel. Because I would get hurt. Yeah, maybe. Possibly. Most likely. Most likely. Yeah. Most but... people. Most people get injury. hurt. Yeah. Most... Most people. I was talking one to the yeah. ref to a ref from a roller derby team. And she says, every match, someone breaks a bone. That sucks. Yeah, that does suck. That really sucks. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to delete some stuff so I can fit the other games on here. I don't know about... I um, don't know if they're called matches or... Because I know each like it, like each little section is called a jam. Holy shit. 
But I don't know if, like, the entire event is called a match or a meet or... Okay. Anyways, I don't know what it's called. But she says every night somebody breaks a bone. Jeez. Yeah. That's fucked up. Alright. Well, it's a full contact sport on roller right. skates. Yeah. Like, of course. I, yeah. They were supposed yeah. to, like, have sufficient padding, though, supposedly. So, no, it's just like... I know they don't, but I knee mean... Knee pads and elbow pads and wrist yeah. guards. And, yeah. like, a teeth guard. Mouth yeah. guard. Um, but yeah, that's why I'm saying you'd be pretty pissed if I started roller derby now. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely would. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna get going, folks. Uh, thank you for checking out this review of Aya. Um, and yes, I have Super Smash Brothers on here. Um, just wanted to do some data management, but we will catch you next time, and mm-hmm. I hope you all have a magical day. And, um, yeah, don't waste $10 on this game. Yeah. (laughs) All right, cool. Anyways, Mm -hmm. later.